Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is find look at rotation. Let's go ahead and run through the quick little example. I'm gonna hit play, and we can see above my enemy's head it says enemy health 100. And if we walk towards it or around it, you'll notice it rotates towards me and it's gonna face me. The default orientation for that text, if we look at it, when we're not playing, is going to be this direction. We are using the find look at rotation node in order to determine the proper rotation for this node, this text value, and it is going to basically give us back the proper rotation we need between two locations. Let's look at the node itself. Find look at rotation takes in a start location, a target location and returns out a value. So if we do find look at rotation, you're going to find this right here. Now our inputs are going to be vectors. These are going to be, you know, an X, Y, and a Z. Traditionally, it's going to be a location. It's going to be some position somewhere. And it's going to output out the rotation needed. So that way, basically, the target faces the start or what we need to do in order for the start to be facing the target. It depends on the order you put it in. So if we look at the way I have this set up, I'm grabbing my widget. This is a little 3D widget I have above my player, we can see right here. I'm grabbing where he is inside of our world and returning that out as the start rotation. My starting rotation is gonna be the widget itself. The ending location, my target is gonna be where the player is at, the actor's location for the player character. What this is going to do is it's gonna give me the rotation I needed in order for the start item to face the target. Since I'm rotating my start item or my widget and I want to face my target, that's what we're going to get back. And we'll get back just a normal rotator. I'm feeding that into my set world rotation here and that's going to allow it to rotate and face my player. Now keep in mind, this isn't really going to care about X and Y and Z and depth and up and down and all those other things. It's simply going to give you back from one location to the other what is going to be the end result. So in this case, my player's here, if we eject out and we look, we are going from here, the health location, to here where the player's location is. That's why if we look at it, it's kind of slightly angled down. And if we get closer, you'll notice it starts angling down or it angles up. So that is something to keep in mind. It's not going to automatically take into account if you want things X or Y or Z or, or things like that. The nice thing though is because the output is a rotator, we can split it. So in this case, I could split it and make it where only I only care about one of these. For example, my yaw. And if we hit play, you'll notice now my health is always facing the player. And if I look up or down, it's always going to be facing the same direction. We have a small issue because obviously it's facing the player, not the camera. But the point is here, put in two locations, you get out a rotator. That rotator is the rotation needed to make the start face the target. And it's useful, like you can see here, for little maybe heads-up display, or you are tracking something. For example, you want the enemy's head to look at the player. You could use the look at rotation and rotate the bone. You could use it on a cannon, for example, on a tank, if you want to always face the player. Things like that.